Hi, it's me again, and I don't have a whole lot to talk about this time, but I think I'd like to discuss with you what I have on my 3DS. So, for starters, I am one of the early adopters of the 3DS, meaning I bought it um, on release day. Well, that um, because I'm an early adopter doesn't necessarily mean that. It just means I bought it before um, August. Um, very early August. It was um, August 8th, I think, was when they had the price drop, and they consider all the people that bought before then early adopters. And um, as a reward for the people who are them, who spent $250 on a game system that dropped to 170 um, they gave us 20 free games. 20 free downloadable games, which are exclusive to us for now, but at least um, half of them will become available to the rest of the market. <coughs> and I have... T so I have those 20 games from um, me. It's a lot of fun. But the uh, real stuff didn't kick in until, um, what, last month? when they gave us the Game Boy Advance games. That was cool. That was really cool. Uh, the NES games were fun. I had not played all of them before. I had never played NES Tournament Golf. I had never played Wrecking Crew. Mm -hmm. I'm sure there's more. Oh yeah, Donkey Kong Jr. Never played that before either. I'm sure I'm missing something, but... Um, you get the picture. Um, the Game Boy Advance selection was nice. It could have been better. I would have appreciated um, multiplayer support, even though um, they didn't give those titles to people um, who didn't buy it or buy the 3DS early. I would have been nice to have an option, you know, and actually be able to utilize half the features on the games, such as um, Kirby and the Amazing Mirror. I mean, that game was practically built on um, multi the idea of having a multiplayer. And it's a lot of fun in multiplayer. I had the Game Boy Advance, the actual cartridges, and I got to play that um, multiplayer before. That's a lot of fun. But And things like Mario Kart 2, it doesn't make sense. Um, that is a largely multiplayer game. But I guess on the Game Boy, it seems less likely that you would play with someone else, because you have to buy an entire other system to play with. But that's not even entirely out of the question anymore either, because Game Boy Advances, the original models are like 30 bucks now or, um, used at um, GameStop. But they're trying to phase those out now, if you haven't heard. Yeah, they're not doing Game Boy Advance games at most GameStop locations. And they're even starting to phase out um, GameCube games in some places. Like, um, I went to one, and I was looking for um, GameCube games, and they didn't have them. It's kind of weird. But yeah, so I'm an early adopter. I have the Ambassador Program games. That's, a lot, um, that's really cool. It's kind of unfortunate that they're never going to release the Game Boy Advance games to everyone else because that would be a lot of fun, and I kind of wish they'd move on to some of the other virtual console games to have multiplayer, and even, like, online. I'm sure they could do it. I really wish they'd put in the extra effort. All right, well, I'm running out of time on this. Apparently, I only got four and a quarter minutes um, to record 3DS videos, so I'm going to go ahead and wrap this up real quick. Um, thank you for watching. See you guys later.